Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. As you can see, we've got the Tishihiri 120 watt solar panel here. We're going to be reviewing it, we're going to be showing you what's included, we're also going to be testing the wattage that we get. We're going to be using our EcoFlow Delta Pro power station. Now, what I like about this solar panel is it folds up, it's really light, really portable. You can connect phones to it, USB devices to it, and yet you can still take it and connect it to a power station, which is really nice. I also like all of the cables that it includes. So let's get started with our review. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Well, Brooklyn and I are hanging out in the backyard. We're going to be doing a review and testing on the new Tishi Harry 120 watt solar panel. Now, what, what's nice about this solar panel is it is light, it folds up, it's very portable in comparison to a lot of solar panels, and the price is really nice. You know, this is a $209 solar panel uh, that sells, you know, sometimes with coupons as low as 160 bucks. So we'll put some links in the description, but what we're going to do is we're going to connect this to the EcoFlow River Pro, and we're going to see what kind of wattage we get on this. This is the uh, portable port uh, power station that's also expandable, which is really nice. EcoFlow has been doing some really nice things. So Brooklyn and I are going to get started. Let's get going. All right, let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we get inside the box. Now, let me tell you, one of the main reasons I picked this up is they actually give you some really nice cables. Okay, they're DC cables and they go, you know, you've got your... DC the alligator clip, okay, you get DC to MC4 for your solar panels, you get DC to Anderson, okay, which is really nice, and then you get a DC to DC cable, so look at that, you get, another thing you get which is really nice is look at the DC conversions, Right? You get all this in the box, which is really cool. You get the instruction guide and your warranty. And they give you a small cloth as well to wipe the panel down, which, you know, no big deal on that one. All right. So let's take this out and see what it looks like. All right. So throw the cardboard aside. Now, again, what's nice about this is it's got a handle. You can take it with you. Um, it's a lot lighter than many types of solar panels that are out there. But don't get me wrong, they're probably lighter ones, but this one attracted me because of the price point. So you do get your compartment here where you're going to be connecting. You can actually connect devices to it, which is good. So USB Type C. Um, you got a quick charge USB and a regular USB. All right, plus your DC which is actually what your cables connect to, right? So you can connect this directly and then connect it, you know, all right? So you get that. You get a kickstand, which we'll show you in a minute. And this is my first time opening this. I like the, the feeling, though. This really feels like good uh, material. All right, so I think I have to turn it over this way. And that's really strong Velcro. I'm a big fan right now. Just the Velcro itself is really strong. It's nice. Again, these are your kickstands. So you take this and you open it up. And you've got one, two, three, four panels. Okay. Now, let me set this up and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, I have to look up the water resistance of all this, right? Because they're starting to make these their water resistance. But one thing I like about the zipper, look at that, how tight that zipper is. So you see as the zipper opens and closes, it actually has kind of a seal on it for some type of water resistancy, okay? Um, I'll get more information and put it on the screen 
if I, if I can find out more. But let me just set this up so you can see what it looks like. So looking at it from the back, you get four supports, one for each panel. That's nice. You don't always see that. And these are Velcro as well. So when you lay this back on to the back here, these actually just stick on so they don't flop around. Um, it's actually pretty stiff as well. So I do like, in general, just showing you the back and how you actually have four supports for the panel, which is really nice. Now here's Brooklyn hanging out with me, but you can see based off of Brooklyn's size, what this panel looks like, right? So it's pretty cool. Brooklyn's actually pretty happy too, I could see. So my EcoFlow has a 50%, 57% charge and the EcoFlow comes with the uh, XT60 cable that plugs into the side. So we're just gonna go ahead and connect that. It takes a second, slides right in, which is really good. So we got that in. And all we need to do now is connect these to the cable that it included. So it gave us the DC to MC4 cables. Let's connect that. So connecting these is real simple. I mean, you can't make any mistakes, honestly. You know, you just got the female and the male. So all you're gonna do is put that in, make sure it snaps in there, okay? And then do the same for the other one. Well, let's crack this open. Let's put this out. Real easy to just open up. Now let me get behind so I can go ahead and open the legs up. And that's kind of awkward for the most part, but it, it, it does the job. So you pull out each one. And then you just pull out the next one. And as you could see, the first one went back in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's, it's nice, you know, especially for the price and for the wattage. But I definitely like that you get the four legs for that stability, which is really key. And there it goes. Nice size panel. You definitely want to make sure it has full sun. It seems to work really well. I'll show you in a little while. We're going to go ahead and connect the cable. Um, as you can see, the MC4 cables are connected already. So let's plug in the XT60 into the side of the EcoFlow River Pro. And because we've got sun, it'll automatically turn the unit on. So let me just push this in. All right. And give it a second and the unit will turn on. There you go. And we're seeing wattage, 20, 30, 40. Look at that, it's climbing. Up, up, look at that, 87, 88. So I think that's the highest that I've seen so far is uh, 88. All right, 88 watts incoming. 51% charged, says it'll take four hours to fully charge the unit based off of the 88 watts. So pretty nice, nice to see it working. Just wanted to take a moment and give it some time and see if we get any more than 88 watts, at least in our situation. We do have full sun. This is a 120 watt solar panel. So 88 watts is really, really good. One thing you'll know is solar panels will never give you the full wattage. If they say 200 watts, you might get 140, you might get 150. In this case, we've got it. Now, here's another thing I wanna show you too, is you can hang this solar panel up and they do include the hooks. You get nice Velcro. So as you can see, it's made really, really well. I'm pretty happy with it. I've been testing it for a few weeks and uh, I'd have to say for the price point in comparison to what folding solar panels are going for. And there goes Brooklyn eating all the leaves in the backyard. Now, if you're going to ever disconnect your solar panels and your cables, you do need this connector here. They're very inexpensive. I'll put some links in the description. But all you do in most cases is you see these little clips here. And you take this guy here, 
and you can lay it on top it applies enough pressure all right i'll show you what it looks like it applies enough pressure to push those clips in and you can just pull this out see that and uh, again the same thing for this side as you can see just push in and pull out and that's it i hope that helped here's a good look at the solar panel back i wanted to lay it out for you so you can really get a good look at it okay as you can see you've got the carabiner uh, holes again the handle as i said is made well um, the pouch is really nice because you can put all your cables and everything inside and i'll show you that later on but yeah i mean plenty of room in here and again i love that you can connect phones and tablets to this thing as well so it does seem to be made very well here are you know the legs and you know they've got the velcro and the elastic you know which is nice you know they did put some good velcro on here so uh, made real well pretty happy all right so i think it's a good deal you know it sells for 209 and uh with the coupons that i see a lot of times about 160 bucks this is a 120 watt panel folds up nice it's got a real durable panel it's stitched very well which is important right that's that's really key i do like that i can keep everything in the pouch so i did do that as you can see i've got everything in here um, i've got all the cables i even have my mc4 disconnection tool in here which by the way this doesn't come with it i'll put some links in the description but my warranties in here my booklets in here and again don't forget right you can connect your phone or your tablet on here because you get a type c port you get a usb uh, type a quick charge port and a regular port as well so this should be about 12 watts this should be about 18 watts and then of course you get your dc port as well i love the stability of these legs on each of the panels so that's great they didn't just put two they put one on each of the panels but uh, to me this is actually not bad i've been using it now for a couple of weeks and um, you know look you do need sun right but that sun will create the power so you can charge your phones or you can charge your power station, etc. All right, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please leave us some comments down below. Ask us some questions. I sure hope you subscribe and hit like and share this video to help our channel. Thank you. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.